morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, the WAN project is done. Our WAN redundancy project is done. Mostly. we got one more service to move over this weekend. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, this past weekend was a big deal. I was here from Saturday morning. We started at 8.30. We didn't clear out until 1 a.m. Uh, we came back uh, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. and didn't clear out until uh, midnight or so. So it was a long day. Uh, we, we, we expected the work to only take four hours on Saturday, and it took much, much longer. Uh, and the problem turned out to be troubleshooting a very pesky problem we're having, which I'll go into in just a minute here. But uh, just show you the final product. You've seen it, but this is pretty much it. Um, we have county services coming here on this router right here. Sorry, switch, 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 switch. The switch right here. Um, it comes in from the county. It comes in over our two uh, circuit providers. And then, so he's going to hand off his VLAN. So he'll, he's going to send me internet on his VLAN. Well, I don't use the same VLAN number. So what we decided to do was, he's going to hand it off to me on this port, untagged in his VLAN. I'm going to ta untag it in my VLAN down on my switch, and then we're just going to connect the two. So that way we don't have to worry about my VLANs matching his VLAN. He's handing off an untagged VLAN. I'm picking up an untagged VLAN, and then I do what I want with it, and I tag it however I want. So that's why we have several services coming from them. We have, uh, uh, let's see, what do we got? We got emergency medical services. We got VoIP for healthcare services. We've got internet. Uh, we've got our county WAN, which just normally connects us to like their PeopleSoft servers and payroll and that kind of stuff. There's several services that, that he hands off to me untagged, and I pick them up untagged and retag them as I want. Comes in that way. So we, we got, um, we've got this here, this set of switches here. We got a uh, mirror of it down in our basement, uh, down at the info. Um, we got our redundant firewalls right here. That's my internet firewall. We got that all hooked up. We got our redundant Cerner circuitry down here. Um, so at this point, we are completely redundant with one little hitch. So we were testing a failover. We would fail over our firewall from the primary to the secondary. No problem. Never never lost any services. Uh, internet worked. Uh, county WAN worked. Everything worked fine. So fail off, fail over the firewall. So the next thing was try to reboot some switches. Let's send me that a switch lock. So the county guy rebooted his switch. No problem. We never lost a thing. We re rebooted our switch. Uh, no, this one? Okay, so this switch up here we rebooted, no problem. So now we did the same thing down in our MPO. County guy rebooted his switch down there, no problem. Rebooted his switch again, or we, we rebooted our switch. It uh, looked like no problem, everything came back up. And then about, uh, I want to say five minutes later, the internet just stopped working. Just stopped. What in the heck? So we were troubleshooting, troubleshooting, couldn't figure it out. We failed our firewalls back and forth, and then all of a sudden it started working again. Uh, that's weird. So anyway, let me let me show you on this diagram what we got going on here. Let me turn you around. Don't look at my ugly mug here. So here here's the diagram of what we got. Hopefully you can see it. Um, so you got my inside network here. We come through my two firewalls. One's in my data center. One's in my info. And I might have said it backwards before, but I'll tell you what's happening right now. So this is my outside internet connection. It goes into my two WAN switches. These are basically my edge switches to his to his network that he provides me. Um, we've got uh, we go into his edge. So that's the edge of his his provider network that he's he's providing the services to me. We have a Comcast Layer 2 circuit, which goes back to the county building, and an AT&T Layer 2 circuit, which goes back to the county building. 
These two have nothing to do with internet. They're just providing us layer two connectivity to the county. And then we've got his two core fabric, and this is all a, a extreme fabric right here. Um, and that's a different fabric from my fabric, which is running back here. So and then, uh, so that goes back to his uh, two wins, two core switches in his county. I say core, but it's really that's just part of his county network. And then it goes into our, our ISP router, which county guy controls. And then that goes out to our internet service providers, which are AT&T and Comcast. They both advertise our outside IS, our outside uh, internet addresses. Um, we're just using BGP to prefer AT&T over Comcast. If we lose AT&T, then after it, you know BGP works out, everything does its magic, then Comcast will start providing that IP address space. So you know, three minutes or so, we sh we should be back in business if we lose AT&T. But that's all handled by BGP out there, so that was all working fine. So here's what happens if we fail these firewalls over. So if this is our primary. It's normally internet traffic is going through here. If we fail that over to here, no problem. We can fail it back, no problem. So then we started rebooting switches. And we started from the far end. We rebooted this switch. No problem. Never lost connectivity to anything. The switch is connected to this, his other switch with a trunk. We lost this. You know, everything started going this way. No problem. Once that all came back up, we rebooted this switch. Everything came through here. No problem. And we tried to reboot his two edge switches here on my premises. Reboot this one. No problem. Everything went this way. We reboot this one. No problem. Everything went this way. And I should say, as we, re each, we rebooted each one of these switches, we would fail the firewalls back and forth, you know, just to make sure everything worked. So here's where it got a little weird. We rebooted this switch. No problem. Everything would go through the primary firewall, get there. We reboot this switch. Now the firewall notices we've got a we've we've lost a connection. So he's gonna fail over to this guy. This guy's gonna become our, our active firewall. So no problem. We got internet connectivity, everything's working through here. This switch comes back up. This guy is still our active firewall. Within two minutes, I'll say within five minutes, we would just lose internet connectivity. Boom, just gone. And we would we could ping the gateway over here, no problem. We could ping the internet. No well, we couldn't ping the internet. Let me put it this way. Any client that was placed outside of my firewall on the internet, the internet VLAN, could ping the gateway outside my firewall could ping the internet. Firewall could not ping the gateway, could not ping the internet. Anything inside could not ping the fire, could not ping the gateway, could not ping the internet. So that's weird. We failed it back, boom, everything came back. What in the heck? And it's repeatable. Every time we reboot this switch, this firewall will fail over. Everything will work. When this switch comes back up, unless this firewall gets put it put back over here, made this one the primary, we're uh, we're just not going to have internet connectivity. So uh, basically, what we did is configure this firewall to take back over once he sees his link come back up. Um, before we had it set to where just if there was a link problem, just fail over and then just sit there and stay like that until further notice. Um, but we put the configuration in here now that, you know, once you see your links come back up, fail back. Make this guy the primary again. That's kind of put a band-aid on things. But we really want to work, we want to make this completely, we want to figure out why this is happening. <laughs> so this Saturday, we're going to move one more service over to this new WAN here. Um, that should go pretty quick. Um, and then once we do that, then we're going to troubleshoot this guy. Why is it that when this guy comes back up, and this is our active firewall, why is he not able to negotiate this path? Because that's what he should be doing. When this guy is down, it's going to be coming out this way. When this guy comes back up, it should either continue to go this way, 
or it should come up go this way so we got to figure out what's what's the interaction going on here that's that's preventing the interaction here so yeah that's uh, hope you saw all that and hope you heard all that that's that's kind of the weird problem we're facing right now and uh, we've uh, engaged extreme which is our uh, switch provider they do our, our all provide all of our networking uh, equipment Palo Alto is our firewall provider, as you, you can see. Palo Alto! Um, we've engaged Palo Alto, we had them on the call. Um, we took all kinds of packet traces, we could not come up with anything. So this Saturday we we're going to try again. Um, we've got a run book of everything we want to try and uh, see if we can get, uh, get the right packet captures and get the right information into the hands of the right people. Anyway, that's it. I'll uh, wrap it up here. Um, thanks for watching, everybody that's enjoying the channel. I appreciate it. Um, those of you who say I don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, you're pretty much right. I don't. I, uh, I rely on uh, just research and uh, and my network providers to help me out. Uh, I'm getting old. I can't know it all anymore. So all you young bucks that know it all, good for you. <laughs> I'm happy you do. So uh, glad there's people out there like you. So anyway, I will wrap it up. Uh, I see somebody trying to get my attention outside the, uh, the glass windows over there. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want. And uh, we'll catch you all next time. God bless.